public records, it can start with something as simple as getting a speeding ticket, but it's your personal information that could wind up being taken for a ride. Don Daler is with us. Don, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning, Nora. Mm -hmm. These laws allow citizens to get important records from the government. All they have to do is file a formal request. But now, some businesses are filing requests to help them identify clients, and taxpayers are footing the bill. 198 Market Street. If you get a traffic ticket in New Jersey, you can pay that online. Your full name, home address, the date, and type of violation are public. So anyone can obtain that information by filing a simple records request. Harassment. I thought it was harassment. After Ruben Rodriguez was charged with a passing violation, he got seven letters like these in the mail, all from lawyers looking to represent him. It's an invasion of privacy. If you don't know people, how can they just send you letters? Lawyers to defend you like if I was a criminal. I didn't like that. Nancy Sappos is the town clerk in Cherry Hill and president of the Municipal Clerks Association of New Jersey. She says the problem is bigger than just privacy. Records requests from businesses are swamping local governments. Businesses have now recognized that the Open Public Records Act gives them access to records that help them build a customer and a database. Tax dollars are being spent for the sake of the businesses to gain customers and to get information on how better to sell their goods or services. Absolutely. Sappho says roughly a quarter of the records requests they receive come from businesses. Her office gathered this entire stack of accident reports for just one of them. She says the work involved for something like this can cost hundreds of taxpayer dollars. He's just trying to find clients. Just trying to find clients. Do these requests often come from the same businesses, the same attorneys, every week, week in, week out? Repeaters who have been able to downsize their companies as far as employees because now they use us. It's a good deal for them. It's a great deal for them. But New Jersey attorney Britt Simon, who uses public records to identify clients, questions how big of a problem this really is. The abuses are few and far between and uh, are being identified by a group of people who really don't want focus or don't want the extra work. Simon says he and most other firms obtained the records from an online database, so they are not creating more work for the government. He adds that his solicitations inform people of rights they may not be aware of. In many cases, they don't know that they've got the ability to have an attorney and that there are options for them. But they can pick up a phone and go, go in the phone book and find attorneys to represent them. It's not like they're going to be out there without any chance of having an attorney. They, they're not really left with a phone book. They're left with the Internet. And it's really easy to use the Internet and, quite frankly, lie or m mislead people. In our case, every time we send a letter out, it costs us 46 cents for a stamp. They know that we are committed to that area of the business. But I will say that, that for a lot of people, the initial reaction when they receive that letter is A, embarrassment that somebody knows they got pulled over for speeding or whatever it is, and then B, they're wondering, well, who's snooping around in my life? The question of who's snooping around in their life uh, would be the courts. The courts are where the data comes from. Open records laws vary from state to state, but all states have them in one form or another. An analysis by the Center for Public Integrity found Connecticut, Rhode Island, Washington, Illinois, and Pennsylvania have the most open public records, and Maryland, Colorado, West Virginia, Virginia, and South Carolina the least open. New Jersey ranked sixth most open. And while the complaints about commercial requests don't worry Simon, they do concern State Senate Majority Leader Loretta Weinberg. She's currently crafting a bill to limit abuse. Have we found a fail-safe solution? The answer is no. But are we trying to balance the right to know? I think we're working very hard to do that. Until then, Sappho says, taxpayers will foot the bill. You don't think that's what the law was intended to do? I am certain the legislators did not envision that this law would help businesses build their customer and client base. Mm -hmm. Senator Weinberg's bill would add extra costs for very large requests, but it would not add any restrictions to requests from businesses in particular. Commercial requests, by the way, come not just from attorneys, but from title companies looking for liens, and in some states even pet stores for new dog license applications. Charlie, Now we know why we get those letters. <laughs> That's right. Not that, I've, not that I've ever been pulled over. Of course not. Really? <laughs> no, I haven't.